Good morning. I once again welcome you in Mangesh Mathematical Trading. Today is 8th of November. Timing is 11.35 a.m. So in the morning. Let me show you uh, Nifty Trades. Sorry, Bank Nifty Trades. Okay, today is the expiry of Bank Nifty and people feel that usually on the day of expiry markets are very volatile. Uh, let us see. As you most of you know, we just uh, look forward to the first five minute candle close and you, so that is 915 candle the candle is closed at 43710.55 you can see the figure over here 43710 so naturally the call and put that will be considering will be 43700 these are the charts this video is going to be very short and sweet i don't have time much time 43700 call 43700 put my method is very simple user friendly method you will find two lines two black lines one is upper black line, second is lower black, black line. Call and put. They always move in opposite direction. They will always, if call is increasing, put will go down. If put is increasing, call will go down. So you one just need to see the balance. And afterwards, the imbalance. Okay. Now you could see the lines 11991. They are pure mathematical. Okay, there are certain mathematical calculations based on that. Yesterday's price are considered. Sometimes today's price prices say are also considered. And then there is a particular ratio. And uh, you know, as per that, it's a very simple mathematical calculation. That is my own finding. Then I draw two lines. This is 11991 and this. Now you find whenever it's a very simple. Uh, let me show you. Uh, here, what has happened? The put has gone up and call has come come down now this is these are the two lines of call right ce so this is ce and i will be drawing two lines for pe also i have explained it in my earlier videos but if someone hasn't seen them then it's okay now if p has to go up the price candle has to close above the upper line and a corresponding candle on the C should close below the lower line. That's the first criteria. Now you know it's a law of nature that going down is very fast. The gravitational pulls pull it down. Okay. Even in guard section, if you're driving a vehicle, four-wheeler, then in guard sections, while you are ascending the guard, it takes all the power of the vehicle. You have to drive it in the first gear itself. But while coming down, you can come in neutral gear also. There is no force that is required. So the natural tendency of the call and put is to deteriorate because of uh, theta, time decay. Today is the last day of expiry, so theta will decay fast. So now if the put, ca uh, put candle has closed above, corresponding call candle is closed above, then we wait. We don't take the entry soon after we see this. Let one more red candle close below this, which is not touching the line by any means. We are not concerned with this candle. No. After finding a red candle, I'm writing red, which is not touching the lower line. We will buy at this line itself. Whenever we will place the order to buy at this line. And then once you buy it, your targets, they are demarcated in three pink line first line second line third line pink line these are upward similarly if you are a writer once it goes down you will take a short call on this and there will be three pink lines below those lines are target of call these lines are target of put the most amazing part though call and put premium thereof they are very far the moment it attains the topmost target you will see that the call also attains the bottom most uh, uh, target as such what will be the stop loss simple once you take a buy positions over here only when this candle closes below this and the here the candle corresponding candle closes above this then only you will hit a stop loss so Hitting of stop loss is a very, very remote possibility. Okay. Let me tell you, this is a pure mathematical method. It is very simple, but first one will have to understand it. It is not a, some holy grail that the people claim we are having this indicator and this is holy grail. No, 
this is meticulous, this is well-planned, and this is mathematical. Okay, now let's go on chart and see what exactly has happened. Similarly, now you just see this candle closed below. This candle closed above. You just see the close is 112.05 and 112.95. So this candle has not closed. Now this candle has closed above. You can see the close here. The close is 114.10 and the line of the value is 119. So this candle has closed above. This candle has closed below. But we need a red candle, which we find over here. Now you will see this candle is not, no, no part of this candle. The high is 87.55 and the line value is 91. So this candle is not touching. Right. After finding this candle, on the next candle, we will buy at 112.95. See the beauty of this method. You know at what price you are going to buy. No other method tells you. Indicator never tells you at what price one needs to buy. Secondly, stop loss. And thirdly, target. Now, once I buy this price, went this much down. Okay, my buying was would have been at 112.95 and the price went up to 58. Nothing to worry. Probably this is the one which one needs to control. So that is why this method is not for all. Absolutely not for all. those who are methodical, those uh, uh, who are having a mathematical brain, they only can follow it. Okay. No worries because you see, even though this went below, this never got closed about this. So my Still, my position is on. I bought at 112. Okay. And then, bought in the says, I'm just explaining the strategy. Neither I am advising you to buy, nor I am telling any anything what you should do. I am just telling you the strategy. That's all. This is a strategical video. Educational purpose only. If you want to know further, you can contact me in person. Okay. This, this is not necessarily a suggestion. This has happened in past and that is what has happened that I am trying to show you. So here the stop loss does not trigger and then suddenly the price comes up and hit the first target. Now someone may say if you are, see where to book profit depends upon person to person. Now when you bought at this level at 112 and the price made high of 139, <clears throat> so you are getting 27 rupees on 112. More than 20%, there are so many people that they, will, that they will book profit over here only. After 20%, 20% is a decent profit. But suppose you want a bigger one and you are, you are ready to take the risk. Okay, then from here it went up to this. See, the first target was it at 140. Again, it came back. You book the profit. See, just go through methodology. You again place your order over here. Don't worry unless the put size goes above this, put price goes above this. And again, it from here, it went up. First target was it, again came back. And then now you see the beauty when it hit the first target, this level, this is the first target. When it hit the second target, this is the line of second target. And you see the second target already been hit. So this is giving you a rough idea that since this is going down, the third target also will meet and it met a third target of 196. And precisely at that candle, if you if someone was a writer, then he attended this particular target of 23.82. Just see, 22.65 is the low. So the target was it. Again, the price came down and now the price is coming back to the level of 112. So now the, the put is coming down, the call is going up. So only one trade giving a decent profit purely on maths, no indicators used, no nonsense, no false promises. That, that's all. Thank you for watching.